rows here, we are going to do my tried and true crochet dishcloth. So what we're going to need is some cotton yarn. I'm going to use this Crafter Secret in the color Lime. We're going to need a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and of course, a five millimeter crochet hook. So get that together and I will meet you back here and we'll get started. Okay, so what we're going to start with, we're going to start with slip knot. Uh, the tail is as long as you want it to be. We're going to sew it in on the second round anyway. We are going to start with a chain of 25. So, one, two, three, four, five. And I will just catch you at, when you get to 25. Okay, I've got 25 chains. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work. That 25 is actually our turning chain. We need it. We just need an odd number because this uh, stitch is in the multiple of two. So what we're going to start with is in the first one. And actually through this whole first row, let's just do a single crochet. So we're just going to go in here and there's one. And we should end up with 24 at the end of this row. So that's two, three, four. I hear my dog outside the door. Five, six, and I will just catch you at the end of this row. And we should have a total of 24 single crochets. And I've experimented with this because um, I've made quite a few of these. Sometimes I do a row of single crochet and sometimes I don't and it looks good both ways. So it's re really going to be at your, it's really just going to be at your discretion. All right, we did our last stitch and we are going to, okay. We're at the end of our row. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're going to turn. Just straightening that a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start our repeat pattern. And that is in that last stitch, here's our chain one. In this last stitch, we're going to put our hook in and then we're going to grab our tail and put it over our hook. Okay, so we're going to go in there. We're going to grab our tail and put it over it. And then we're going to pull up a loop. And then we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're just going to take our tail with us. So we did a single crochet in the first stitch and the next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet. Half. Kind of roll in that tail. Next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, half double crochet. And that is the repeat all the way to the end. Single crochet, half double crochet. Okay, we're getting to the end of this first row, actually the second row. Getting to the end of the second row, I have two stitches left. Should be a single crochet and the last stitch is going to be a half double crochet. You want to make sure that you always start with a single crochet and then you end with a half double crochet. So we're going to chain one and turn. Okay, so we're 
turn our work. And then again, that last stitch that we did a half, we're going to do a single on top of it. This was that single crochet. We're going to do a half double crochet. So if you start with a single and you end with a half double crochet, your stitches will line up. But I've even done it where they didn't line up and it looks just fine too. But for this tutorial, start with a single crochet and end with a half double crochet. And this is what we're going to do until we get the desired height. So I'm going to carry on and I'm going to let you carry on and I will touch back with you when I get, when I know how many rows in I, I'm at. So you just keep on going and I will meet you here in just a few minutes. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop back on here real quick. This would be a good place to use one of these. So I'm starting my eighth round. Um, then I have it on here. And it just takes the thinking out for me. Also, instead of going single crochet, half double crochet, single half, you know, going like that, sometimes I'll simplify it and I'll just do uh, single crochet is my one and half double crochet is my two. So I'll just go one, two. It just makes it easier than having to say the actual stitch and it helps keep me on track. So I wanted to pop that in there real quick. And this is what we're looking like so far. It's looking good. I'm on my eighth round, so I'll just catch you here shortly. Okay, guys, I am back. And this is where I am. And I did 20 rows. This is 21 because I was about to start that, but I did 20 rows and it measures about eight inches across, about seven and a half inches, um, seven and three fourths. But this is the great thing about this is that you can chain longer and have it as, as wide as you want, as long as you start with an odd number and each row will be an even number so that you can just do your repeat and then you can do it as long as you want. I like this size. It's like hand size. We're also going to do a border around it to trim it off and it'll add just a, another row to it. So let's get started on that. 20 rows. I had realized when I started this, I didn't even have that written down. <laughs> I had no idea because I just, do I dare say it? I free balled it. <laughs> let's do all right, so this is the top. So we're going to just go, this is where we would be starting our next row. And we're going to just do a single crochet all the way across. Both loops, of course. So at the end of this row, we're going to have 24 stitches and I'll meet you there. Isn't that pretty? It looks like, like little flowers. I think that's probably why I like it. Okay, so we have our last stitch here. This will be number 24. We're going to do three single crochets in here, and that's going to just help us turn the corner. So there's one. We're going to do it three in that stitch there. Okay, let's turn this. I just did a whole long bit just to realize I had it on photo, not video. <laughs> okay, someday it'll be funny. We we're doing the cactus, it doesn't really matter, but this, we want it to be a little bit more particular. We're gonna just take a minute so I can really show you how to do this because every, every person that does this, they have their own way. All right. That was that last stitch we did, those three single crochets in. Immediately, we see this bump here. And then right next to that, we see this line here. And it's optional. You can tilt it and 
see two lines. And then immediate next to that, you're going to see this, this one that goes straight down. And then here we are at the bump again. So it's bump, these two lines, this thing that goes down, and then we're back to the bump. And that's how we're going to be working it. So we're going to immediately go into this bump and do a single crochet. And then I'm going to go in just the front. I could tilt it and go under both, but there's really not any need. So I'm just going to go under this first loop and do a single crochet. And then remember that line right there, we're going to skip that. And then here we are back at the bump and we're going to do a single crochet. And then those two lines there, I'm going to pick up that front loop, single crochet. So I'm going to be going into this bump, front loop, bump, front loop, bump, front loop. And that's how I'm going to do it all the way down. It just makes it look really even. It's going to carry on here and meet you at the end of this row where we're going to do another turning corner. And going in this front loop, going in this front loop will make will make sense because uh, it's a little bit different on the other side. So, okay, now I'm at that last bump. And now we're at the bottom of our chain. And this is just like, wh what is happening here? But I can see right here, this is the initial knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right next to that knot. And since I only went through one loop, I'm only going to go through one loop here. And this is where I'm going to do my turn. So that's one. Let me go. Let me redo that. So I'll show you again. This last bit. When I look at this, I can see that that's the knot from when I first started. So I'm going to go into that first hole and I'm going to do three single crochets. And now this is the bottom. And when you look at it, it, it looks like a rope. You can just cut it. It's going to be one loop. And you're going to go into these spots here. You can see where these, that's where we did our single crochet for that next row. That's the top of that loop. You can just see these two little bits here and we're just going to go above those and go all the way down three. So we're going to pretend like that's one because it was a, technically the first stitch of this row. Let's see if we can get 23 more. So this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'll meet you when we get to the close close to the end of this row. We have two stitches left. Go like this one. And here we are at the corner. And that we've got that raw edge going again. I'm going to just go right in here. Looks like that's the turning chain from that single crochet. And I'm going to do three single crochets. This is, is definitely something that doesn't have to be, it has to be that whole, whatever it, uh, it comes out 
even if you went to this stitch here or, or you know skip this one and just went here it works out nobody's ever going to be like that stitch is crooked now we're on the other side of that raw edge i'm taking a look and this side starts with the two and then goes into the bump two and then the bump i for some reason find it easier instead of picking up that front loop i like to pick up the back loop you can do either or or both it will not make a difference but for some reason when i'm like crocheting along it's just easier for me to grab it don't know why that is so we went in the back loop there here's that bump okay i had to be very still because i've got this zoomed in as far as it'll go okay and then i'm just going to go in that back loop because for some reason it just doesn't I, it doesn't just doesn't pick up very easy of course it did it right there but it's just when you're cruising along there's that bump there's those two lines pick one and then I bump. Two lines. Bump. And we're going to do that all the way down. I don't even count how many stitches it, it just always works out. If I get a line and I get a bump, um, I consider that a good day. Okay, so now we're at the end. I finished with a line. So we have this like line here. And here's the first single crochet. I'm gonna skip this line and I'm just gonna go straight into this first single crochet and do my three because this is more stable because it has the two and that just has one and it'll leave a gap. So I'm gonna do three single crochets. And then I'm gonna slip stitch to the next stitch and I'm slip stitch again. That's overkill chain one, chain two, and then we're going to leave 12 inches. And now with the, with that chain two, that's another little, this is another little tip. It's just extra security. I'm going to take my nail and I slit it down. It just, it's just an extra security. It's not going to come undone with one, but I think you guys are figuring it out. I <laughs> overkill. All right, so I'm going to thread this up. And the way I'm going to do this, let's see here. We're going to just bring you to me. Gonna, here's that knot. I'm just gonna go in here a minute. Okay, just to get me started. And then I'm gonna come back. This is where I came out. I'm gonna skip that hoop. And I'm just gonna go back. And as I come through, I wanna come through and I like wanna slice in between those threads right there, that yarn. I want to like 
cut through there. Then you could probably cut off right there, but overkill kicks in here. I'm just gonna go down a little bit, poke through some strands, and then I'm gonna come back. Oh, I'm just gonna slice through that bad boy. And then I'm just gonna come out. We don't need 30 minutes of doing that. I'm gonna pull it a little bit, push this back a little bit. And then there's that. Should have probably pulled that taut before I did that. Pull yours taut before you do that. And then here we go. I don't mind that it's a little bit wonky because people are going to use it and you know it's going to be like that anyway in a drawer probably <laughs> and but you can roll it up put some twine on it call it a day It'd be pretty what a pretty color for spring but i love it that stitch that stitching and even though we did that single crochet I mean, obviously we can look at it and go, mm, that's not whatever, but it. sometimes I'll do a row here and then I'll do a row here and then I'll do my border just for extra whatever. Sometimes I change them every time I do them. So, but there we go. This is our tried and true old glory dishcloth. I hope you make up a bunch and give them out to your neighbors and your friends or sell them if you want. And I will... Get this up as soon as I can, and I thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and commenting. I appreciate it. I, I take any feedback. And, uh, you know, it's really going to be interesting because the more I put out there and anybody that stays with me or whatever, you will be there from the beginning and see where this goes. So thank you so much for watching, and I will just catch you on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.